Okay, hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie. For those of you guys who are new, I am the owner of a curl brand and I just like to share kind of my life and behind the scenes on my YouTube channel. I've definitely been slacking. It's literally been almost a year since I've posted a full video on here. I post like little cute videos and stuff, but like a full video. So I told myself for 2024, we're gonna be back making videos and doing it regularly. So here I am. Today I wanted to show you like a day in my life because I have a few things going on today, but first things first, I need to do my makeup. I already did my skincare for the morning and then my hair is pretty much done. This is the, <laughs> she is like in shreds. This is the foundation I use. I've been trying to take my skincare super seriously. So I just did like all of my skincare before this. Um, to try and get glass skin. I feel like I don't really break out much, but I do have like pores that are big and you can see them. Trying not to get the dropper to touch your face is such a skill. <laughs> this is not a tutorial, but this is what I do in the mornings. Once I finish my makeup, one of the first things I have planned is I need to package an order that I got um, overnight. I literally go to the post office every single day now because since I moved, I have one right next to me and it's in this shopping plaza. So it's the same shopping plaza I get my coffee in. So I just go there literally every day now and I drop off all orders at the same time I go and I get my coffee. My eye is like twitching. <laughs> Oh my god, it's been so long since I filmed a YouTube video. I like packaging orders every single day. I used to have a designated day of the week where I would ship out orders. I would try to do it twice a week because I had to drive like half an hour to the post office where I lived. But now it's five minutes away. So I'm like, you know what? Why wouldn't I ship out orders every single day? And I'm literally going there for my coffee anyway, so it doesn't make any sense. So I went to the post office yesterday and that is the first thing I'm doing today is I'm just gonna go drop off that order. And once I do that and I pick up my coffee, then we are back in business because then I can actually have a clear brain and I can think. But I definitely have to post on all of my socials today because that is another one of my goals is to be consistent with my posting. If you are an influencer or you have a small business or you work in social media, you know how difficult it is to stay consistent with the posting, the uploading. It is very hard to stay consistent with uploading because like for me and my business, I feel like I always have to have good hair when I'm on camera and I feel like I always need to come up with content that's like super engaging and working towards my mission of inspiring girls to rock their curls so I just get in my own head a lot of the time and I'm like mm, is the stuff that I'm putting out there like actually good and does it reflect what I want to be doing with my business and I also get extremely burnt out with creating sometimes just because it's easy to lose sight of I think I've said this before in one of my other videos, but it's so easy to lose sight of all of the good that you've done and how far you've come when things just go wrong right now. This is the makeup so far. I have super oily skin, so I know that a lot of girls are doing like this dewy, glowy makeup right now, but I cannot hop on that trend because I need to mattify everything on my face. I think I had like four markets this month and then another thing was like a content day and then I had a delivery for one of my products and then everything just get, getting pushed back and pushed back. I was expecting like 20 more gallons of product so I can fill it and have it ready for the markets and everything. And then they got delayed all the way until the very end of January. I think it was like literally two days ago, but I just had a night where I just kind of broke down about everything just because I've been feeling so overwhelmed with my business and like, the direction I'm gonna take it, the choices I'm gonna make, and it just got so overwhelming. I just had to like take a moment and like break down because when you own the business and w when you're the one making all these decisions about things that can happen and things that you're gonna create and come out with and like the direction you're gonna take your brand, it can get so like frustrating and overwhelming, I guess, because it's really hard to see the big picture, you know? That's all I get. 
another big reason why I kind of got like that the other day was because I work from home and like now I have a home office for my business that curly girl and I love it like working from home is amazing it's such a blessing but at the same time it's so isolating sometimes especially when a lot of my job is literally social media so I'm just constantly on a device or my phone or editing or something and it's like the lack of social interaction is just getting to me <laughs> so that was another thing too and it's Oh my god, I just do my mascara so messy and hope that it will work out in the end. But that's another thing about like owning a business is it can be extremely isolating. I was just, I was feeling things because my business just turned three years old, January 1st. I launched in 2021 with the whole slogan, new year, new curl routine or something. Um, just like inspiring everyone to rock their natural curls and my business just hit three years old and it's been through so much in the past three years like the growth has been crazy but also the failures have been intense as well so it was just kind of like where where am I where do I want to be and thinking like that can just be extremely overwhelming but I am excited that I am just in the right headspace now to continue and go forward with everything because especially as like a creator and a business owner, when you get in those ruts, oh my God, it is so hard to get out of them. Like that goes for anyone, but especially if you own your own business because it's like low key, what could stop you from just being like, yeah, I'm done. You could stop it at any time. It's literally everything that you've created. So it is that like threatening idea of like, Oh my god if this just gets too much you know now that my eyelashes look crazy i'm gonna clean them up a little bit do my lips and then i'm done finally okay so i finished my makeup finally now it is time to package my order like i told you guys i try to go to the post office every single day because it's five minutes away so i got one order overnight and we're going to package it right now This order is for a shampoo conditioner detangling spray and a hair oil so i am super excited to fulfill that one she's from orlando i think she found me at one of my previous pop-ups because i used to do a lot of pop-ups in orlando so yeah let's go ahead and fulfill it been working on releasing a new styler for a while I went through so many samples and we finally got her this is my new mousse that is going to be launching so soon there's just one little issue and the issue was that when I actually went to go pump out the mousse the foam wasn't working like it, it literally would not foam up it was coming out like water I know what that looks like because in my bathroom I have a foaming soap but I don't have a foaming pump on it and it literally comes out just like water with bubbles so that's what was happening here formulation works but I'm not going to release it without a pump that actually works because just working with a watered down mm, it, it, it's not good like it's not good and what I loved about this mousse is that it's super easy to work with so that was a whole annoyance which is also part of what I was struggling with for January because I had these lined up and ready to go for this month to launch okay it is 3:25. I posted to all of my socials so Instagram TikTok youtube shorts facebook did all of that the package is dropped off got my coffee i was editing a bit now i am working on some computer work because tonight i have a meeting with ari the girl who works with me on that curly girl and i need to give her her schedule and then we're also going to be talking about tallahassee lighting in my office is so bad but it's also literally raining so it's so gloomy outside
So I just finished making Ari's schedule, got some food. I also planned some events for the rest of 2024 and some markets, signed up for them, all that kind of fun stuff. I started doing markets around last year and it has become a substantial part of my business today. There's a lot of scheduling involved and a lot of trial and error, especially when finding the right ones. So honestly, a lot of my last year was like testing, seeing which markets I liked. And so this year I have pretty much a lot of them already laid out so I know what I'm gonna do. But especially when it comes to craft fairs, farmers markets, things like that, there can be a huge wait list. So I'm on a few of them and it kind of just depends. So I'll make a schedule and then it would get changed because either I was last minute accepted or they didn't have enough spaces. So the scheduling part of me, that's just like a nightmare. But I finally got it done, planned a lot of events for 24, got food and now I'm going to go eat. I feel like every time I have a meeting with Ari or I go over to her place, I always leave with something. So she gave me these glass cleaner wipes, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> every time, like, she's either giving me food or something. I love her. So now we are on the way home. I forgot to film while I was in there, but we did have our meeting. We went over the entire calendar for the month, talking about our plans for the next few months, Tallahassee updates, all that fun stuff. So we're finally on the way, and it is 9.45 at night. I am home finally and I have my poppy guys I want to be a poppy girl so bad you don't even understand I just I love their aesthetic my day is finally over well I'm just gonna spend the rest of the night editing it's like 10 30 so I'll just do that until I go to bed which is like midnight so that was my day it was honestly pretty laid back hey, I'm still waiting on inventory shipments so I didn't really have anything to kind of fill and bottle today my first YouTube video in 10 months almost a year but it is my goal to take YouTube serious in 2024. So weekly videos, here I come. Thanks for watching guys. And as always, the links to my social media and my small business will be in my bio.